when I think about what art is and how people, other people think about art, I always ask myself, but is it one in a million? And if the answer for my work personally, and I do do it when I'm looking at other people's work and critiquing it, um, I answer, no, it's not. And I had a professor once that told me that you will paint 10 paintings and out of those 10, one will work. Well, during that time when I was a student, um, my gosh, I must have painted 20 paintings before one would work out. But I really believe the advice should have been one in a million will turn out to be art. Uh, others will be visual pleasures, but one in a million is just that piece that I feel is really, really unique and special. And it rises above everything else I've done. Um, I've sold a lot of them. Sometimes I regret having sold some of them because I wish I would have kept them around for a while. So I don't have a lot of examples in my studio and in my home to share with you, but this is one of them. And it's called Entrapment. And it is, uh, it's filled with a lot of my symbols. I use the circle a lot in my work. You can see it here. And a lot of times the circle is an open circle, so there's a way to escape. And a lot of my paintings are about the idea of escaping from being entrapped and being free. This, so if you look at the circles, you can see there's always a pathway to get out of whatever you're in. And there's circles within circles, so there's layers and layers and layers of circles here. And it's very rare that I would do a piece that doesn't have circles in. Here's a circle, here's circles. But when um, you look at this piece, the reason I think this piece is one in a million, there's many parts of it, not only the whole composition and the concept behind it is one in a million. There's a funnel or a tunnel of things, let's call them folks, coming in through here. There's circles, but there's also figures here. And they get released into this big mass. And then they bump against this wall here. And the wall entraps them, that's why I called it entrapment, into this big mass. And it's one of the things I talk about in my actual artwork because um, I say you can't be trapped in this mass. You have to find a way to get out of the mass. You have to find a way to release yourself so you can be one of these circles that release themselves and you can find out who you are as an individual and as an artist and then for yourself, but as you can see, this is a, not a field, it's not comforting. There's not a lot of people around to hug you, and it's a very bold move to be able to go out and do things on your own like that, but I, I really feel that that's an important element as to what art is. So not only do I have all these wonderful layers that go on, started with this wonderful, big, bold, pink here and this big bold orange here and then this big bold brush were a fat fat brush of the green and then um, I came in and added more circles you can see the circles in here um, with a, a pretty fat brush these are done these circles are done with a fat brush these are a cluster these these individuals, these folks, these artists haven't quite made it out here into the free space. This is a cage, and you can see it in a lot of my work. You can see the lines. It's, it's a fence. It's a cage. It's something in, that entraps things when they come in here, and it's very hard to get out of it. But as you can see, th some things are getting away, and um, they've become free. And these lines right here, these are very representative of who I am. And these little dotted lines here have always represented for me movement. Now, it's part of my gestural mark making that goes, I mean, when you're gestural things, you, you're just dancing with your pencil. And um, these always represent movement. So you can see this is a pathway out um, that I'm, I'm sh helping people, folks get out 
of this being entrapped in this mess. This mess is really very, very um, comfortable to be in. I mean, it's very soothing. It's a wonderful color. Uh, you don't want to leave it. It's like you wake up in the morning and go, oh, this bed is so cozy. But then you, uh, and, and this is how you feel. But then you have to get up and you have to greet the day. And how are you going to greet it? Are you going to stay entrapped? Or are you going to explore and discover new things? So I think this piece is one in a million because I will never be able to do it again. I would not be able to repeat it again. It will never turn out like this again. That's what a one in a million is. It fulfills all the ideas of what I think art is. It's original. It's unique. Um, other people, I'm sure, have painted the concept of entrapment. But um, this one relates to me and who I am as an artist. And that's what I think other art and artists should think about when they're creating is how does this relate to me? How am I going to emerge in this work? And how can I share myself and communicate myself to others who um, want to get to know me because they like this piece? Look for videos as I do new works. And if you need a video done of a piece that I've already painted and haven't videotaped it yet, just email me at christine at christinealfrey.com.